Hey, uh, right now I'm working with uh, learning about volume uh, with my grade eights and uh, specifically we're working on figuring out volume where you have to do some addition or subtraction of volumes to figure out what you're looking for. And uh, we were actually happened to be working on something in class today where I needed to find them some glue sticks. And I went and got a new box of glue sticks here and this actually presents a perfect problem for what it is we're actually doing. Because of course inside this box is 12 little glue sticks which are cylinders and they're packed in there four by three tightly packed to the edge of the box and the box itself is of course a rectangular prism and so I asked them how can you work out the volume of space that's left over in the box well, you're going to do that by figuring out two volumes. We need to know the volume of the box, and we need to know the volume of the glue sticks, the 12 glue sticks. And we can work those two out, and then we can use subtraction to find that, that space that's left over. So we need to make some measurements here. Now, these are one inch glue sticks. So I'm going to use inches to measure this because the numbers are going to be easier to work with. Measuring the the prism here first, the rectangular prism. This is actually three inches, the, let's call that the width. And it's actually four inches that way. And the prism is four inches tall. Now, you might think we need to measure these glue sticks. And I'm gonna do that right now. But the fact that they're tightly packed in there we don't really need to do it because we'll already know them. If we know that's three inches wide and there's three glue sticks, each one's an inch. They're one inch glue sticks. If we know that's four, same thing, right? And if we know that the whole box is four inches tall, we know the height of those glue sticks. So let's go right now and figure out how much space is wasted inside the box, how much air space there is. Let's do that. All right, so we're gonna work out the volume of that space that's in between each of these things here all the way up and down and the way we're going to work it out is using subtraction here subtraction of two volumes so volume of the space okay is going to be equal to volume of the the box and subtract volume of the glue sticks we'll just say volume of sticks okay so that's our that's our kind of beginning formula, our beginning idea here. Specifically for the volume of the box, volume of the box is pretty easy. It's just the three dimensions all multiplied together, length, width, and height. So if we do that, I think I'm going to say length, width, height, first of all. And the volume of all 12 glue sticks, we're going to do 12 times the volume of one of the glue sticks. And to work out the volume of the glue stick, as long as we know the area of the base, one of these circles, and then we know the height of the thing, we can use the formula for volume of a cylinder, or we can just go from the idea of area of base times height. If we go pi times r squared times h, that's the volume of one of the glue sticks. So we're going to fill in some values here. We do have the length, the width, and the height. We have 4 inches times 4 inches times, and I guess I should get the numbers right here. I guess we'll call the width, the width is the shorter one here. We'll call it 3 inches times 4 inches just to be precise on the height there. And the only thing that we don't have already measured that we didn't measure was was that, right? Was the, the radius of one of those glue sticks. But we're going to use the fact that we know they're they're tightly packed in here. Here's the four diameters across there, not drawn very well, but they're actually they're all touching. All the glue sticks are touching each other here. So if that distance is four inches and there's four glue sticks all touching, the diameter of one of them has to be one inch. Okay, diameter is one inch, which means the radius is half inch. So we can use that value here pi 0.5 inches squared times our height which is 4 inches and I guess I don't need those brackets in there I'll get rid of those if we're gonna keep working this out this is 48 
inches cubed, cubic inches, right? Because you got inches times inches times inches. And right, uh, the other one's a bit tougher because you got that pi involved there. Maybe we can go to the calculator for this. We've got, let's leave the pi out of it for a second here and the 12 out of it. So we'll go uh, 0.5 squared times four. Maybe we'll throw the 12, maybe we'll throw the pi in there too. Pi. Okay. It actually works out to pi because you got 0.5 squared, which is a quarter times four pi. So it gives you pi. That's the volume of one of those glue sticks, but then there's 12 of them. So times 12, 37.699. Okay, if we want maybe one decimal place of accuracy in the end, we'll keep a few more here, 37.699. So we'll say 37.699. Now that's inches cubed as well, because you got inches squared times inches. And since I rounded this off, this symbol over here really technically should be approximately equal to. All right, so we got those two volumes to subtract those volumes, right? That's the volume of the box, that's the volume of the glue sticks. We're going to subtract those two things and see what we get. Now, so I want to go 48 minus, instead of entering that number again, this calculator and lots of calculators have a feature where you can just use the last answer right above this negative button here. It says answer. So I'm just going to use that 48 minus the answer gives me 10.3, all right? 10.3 cubic inches left over. That's more space than I thought it would be in all those little cracks and uh, spaces in there. Really, our measurements were kind of, uh, you know, not too precise. So, I mean, really the best we could probably say here is 10 cubic inches, right? Roughly 10 cubic inches left over. All right, so that's how you can find some volumes using subtraction, right? Take the volume of the entire thing, take the volume of the, the part that you're not interested in, it gives you the leftover space. All right, that's it.